Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Send up and do it. Fight on. Yeah, I ain't gonna like. Are you committed? I said the same thing to Donnie. Aaron, bro, are you committed? I don't know. I thought about some 740. I wish. Ain't that right, Jamie? <laughs> 740 is not that much longer than 7. It really doesn't feel like right now. It doesn't feel like I would leave right now. Huh? I would be leaving my house right now. I would be in the shower. Exactly. You wouldn't make it to school if you left right now. <laughs> Did you practice it? No, I haven't got it. Well, I didn't even go to the well, well, What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, what is that? I changed my doctor. So I wasn't able to get checked out. Hi, my name is Gina McCain. I'm Jared's mom. I really was concerned about Jared getting overlooked. I felt like when he was a freshman, we were very excited. He played great and he ended up getting top 25 on the ESPN. We were so excited, shocked and happy. Everything was great. Then, of course, his sophomore year was uh, COVID and that was very hard. In California, we really didn't play much. Maybe other states got more recognition. Not quite sure what happened, but um, Jared didn't really get any kind of recognition. Even though he played great, did great, he pretty much was like overlooked, which I know it happens sometimes, but it's frustrating. I was very, you know, nervous just talking about it to my husband and my older son, Jace. He made it me feel very confident that the summer was gonna bring a lot of uh, good to Jared and like he was going to get recognized and you know of course I was very nervous just thinking you know just I as, as good as I know Jared is it's all about you know who you know him being seen and then them recognizing him. No, Coach Giles, I was like, I don't think so. Okay. Well, then if you're interested, I'll, I'll, I'll get you the new stuff. I'll let you guys see what the new stuff is. Is it nice? I'm black, is it black, red, and white? Black, red, and white? We got to add like one cool color. Our colors are so big. Gray. gray? You know it's against CIF rules to not wear we your school. Gray? We, have, yeah, we like, have gray in our school. No, it's red no. and black. It has to be your nah. primary color. But wait, we can't show up. football has gray. We, no, they don't. Yeah, they, they do. do. They, they have, have a gray jersey. Yeah, they have a gray. Yeah, that would be tough. Football has gray. Jay Macaroni. What? Shut up. Huh? What'd you say? You see me at the end? If I saw this video, I'd be like, I'd be like, no, no, Jay, no, Jay, no, Jay, they're no, making no, me go no, this Saturday. I'm scared. You hate scary stuff. I hate scary stuff. I love it. saying, but it's not bad. Alina's making me go, bro. I'm just not bad. Kind of scared. It's a big school. I see someone new every day. You guys work out in the morning at the school? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow morning. And then what time are you guys done? Tomorrow we're done at 8.30. And then you have the dentist at what time? 9.30. Dentist at 9.30, workout at what time? 11.
I'm pretty sure I was in the kitchen with Jace when I was stressing about all of this. And he was just telling me, Mom, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. I have no doubt that this summer is going to be amazing for Jared. Pretty much everything Jace said came true. And I can't tell you how how excited we are that everything is working out and moving forward. Long way to go still, but Lisey's on the right track as far as being noticed. And um, it's just amazing how Jace calmed me down so much by just uh, confirming to me that, you know, everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. And everything he said was true. So um, thank goodness. Thank goodness I had him, or have him, period. So the offer came for us to go to Paul's and Jared was just so excited. So I, of course I had to acknowledge that and, and make the drive for that. And Jared's hard work, you know, pushing me, which in turn makes me want to do everything for him because of course since he's so into everything I want to give him every opportunity to make it flourish and to make him um, you know have every opportunity and every chance to get better and stronger and with everything yeah, in basketball that he wants. Push off light with your hands to come back up. Five reps. And then pulling up at the top and rotating with it. The floor, tap the floor, yeah. Hand up at a time. Uh huh. Other hand up. No, no, your head up as high as you can and push your palms to the sky as high as you can. But you gotta keep the crown of your head like that. So you gotta kinda tuck your chin through here, but you also feel like you're strengthening in between shoulder blades, working the postural muscles. He compresses the spine and gets it nice and long. It's good for your posture after slumping over at a desk all day yeah that was when like good music was hot it was like uh big sean was like young just yeah. on the scene push a t was killing the saggy everything was baggy yeah, 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 yeah. It's, a, it's uh sci high to prince good jean, music jean shorts yeah brace brace long tall spine are you over there and you're like Oh my hamstrings! Oh my hamstrings! Like you could do that. You can't yeah, do of it. Of course I can. You can't do it. Nordic. I could go out there. No, you can't. Not stretch. I could check the oh, time. You, have you ever worked out in your of life course. before? Of course I have. Yeah, of course. I could jump in the pool right now with you, and we could race, and I'd still beat you. I didn't. Yeah, you were stretch. you were a swimmer, obviously. Yeah. You're gonna oh, beat you me. forgot pro, pro swimmer. You can run the world pro. Hey, come on. This is. You guys are all set. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Like you still have a long ways to go on that kind of uh, stuff. Then. We we kind of have everything in already. I mean, because mo most of them are returners, so everyone kind of knows what to do already. Did you guys? I know Coach was considering playing against or, ex or playing an exhibition against maybe one of the overtime teams. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna happen. You guys feel ready for that? Yeah, I want to see how that they are. I'm like, I'm like Mr. Put. I'm not fully Mr. Put it on. Who Mr. Put it on? on nobody, team. nobody here is, nobody here is Mr. Actually, Mr. Put it on. Besides me and you, who dressed the best? John Jay Lee, Jay Aaron, Lee. Aaron, no, Jay Lee. Aaron for sure. Jay Lee for sure. Look, you can just tell by his fit right now. What? I wear nice shoes doesn't mean I'm throwing on a fit. You gotta learn that. It's just gotta wear expensive shoes. I mean, it's a fit. Y'all gotta learn that. Like, I don't know that. You're talking to Ramsey over there. You feel it? You have HB? Oh, you're online, huh? Yeah, why would I be HB? It's free games. I don't go to a lot of football games. I don't go to games. I'm not going to all. The only two games I went to is the next It is probably hard for you to be Mr. Put it on at 6'11. Okay, and then the flip grip, 8. Questions? 
Alright, let's go. 170. Even though we're 190. That's a whole 30 pounds heavier than you, man. Yeah, Ram. You see it. Woo! Ah! Hit this off. Hit this off. This ain't my least favorite thing to do on camera. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on. Those are easier, come on. I know these are, right? How many you said? Ten. Ten, not eight, you sure? No, those are ten. Those are way easier, come on. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Woo! Good. Good, Jay. That's four. Yeah, five more, come on. Good. Two more, two more, two more. <laughs> I can do anything else. Time we're doing that stuff, we have to be, it's head to toe, we gotta be in all that stuff. Yes, sir. What did you just use we're getting? I have no clue. That, um, we're going against, you know, prep schools and all this other stuff that are, you know, all top 10, top 15 in the country, so it's a great test for us early on to see where we're at. Um, so you're playing against not teams that are good, you're playing against great teams. Any um, questions for me? With all that stuff, and they can have all the hires that they want, um, and we've been the, you know, a lot of you guys have been there and done that with some of the other stuff. We did it with Hillcrest before we played last year, and I think we did it in the CIF championship game with Sierra Kane. Those are like all-star teams, right? If you play harder, it's really simple. You just gotta play harder than they do. You gotta do the stuff that they're not willing to do, and we'll be just fine. Welcome to the game. Did the homecoming again? Yeah. <laughs> of course, he'll be there. What'd you expect, Nate? Uh, I can't. Oh, you're not gonna go. All right. Go. In here, bro. I'll drink ice. Yeah, hey, that lemonade. It's pulp, yeah. Yeah, who gets lemonade from Chick Fil A? Bro, you get fruit punch. Or you get the Sun Joy. The Sun Joy let it slide. What? You don't get the Sun Joy? No, you the get iced tea lemonade mix. Or I get light lemonade. See, you're too extra for me. I just get, get a lemonade. Sun, a large sun joy, right? you get what is sun joy? It's the iced tea they have, a sweet iced tea, and a lemonade mix. Text it to me, I'll try it next time. Really? I'm getting my first haircut in like six months. Alright, I'm not cutting it off. Get waves. Get waves. <laughs> Why oh, you see how good this looks? That looks so crazy. It's probably dollar fifty or something. And that was two seventy something. Yeah, but probably not. They don't probably last for the plane. This will probably be gone by tonight. The juice might make it through. Like you only get juice once in a while. It's like once never. I don't, I don't think you've ever. I don't think she's ever bought juice since like first grade. It's been a while. It's got so much sugar in it. <laughs> Y'all get this. Magic all six though. No. No, for real. <gasps> Wait, no, no, this. What am I doing? Sparkling cider. I know. That's the one. They have other. That's crazy. I can do no look too. It's so big. When do you usually go to the store? Never. I never go to stores like... Like this right here, this is like once every six, seven months I get this. What's the occasion this today? Uh, just me being at the store is the occasion. There is no occasion. Let's go. Do you only drink water? Yes. Yeah. Water and almond milk. He gets lemonade once in a while when he goes, like, this, what is this? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's lemonade. Once he says you once in a while. Water and milk is what I drink. This, these two things right here, once every 
eight months, six months, like <laughs> Halloween, Christmas, and then it circles back to Halloween. Oh my god. What about the snacks you got on the visit? Do you eat all those? That's or? true. Yes, he when did. When snacks are given to me, that I do eat those. Probably uh, the worst one in the family. Unless you have a big order, Chick Fil A. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you about that. You guys, I used to get just a spicy chicken sandwich, but that wouldn't fill me up, so I had to get the eight count nugget as well. So the last cut you got was six months ago. Nah, not about six months. No, it was, it was really like, like, it was like, it's been oh, a while though. It's like, no, it hasn't been a while. It's like three weeks. That's that's, that's pretty long. I mean, no, yeah. it's probably a month. It was probably a month. Cause I think I got it before I went to. Uh, I would say, his freshman year, immediately when he started, he wanted to be at school the first. He wanted to be there like at six a.m. so he can get shots up in the morning. He wanted to stay in the afternoon and get shots up in the afternoon. So I knew right away he was committed to totally um, doing whatever it took. It's like we talked about it all the time. He would tell me I, I got goals. He started writing goals down. He started writing, you know, what he wanted for himself and for the team. Paris Dawson, a senior when Jared was a freshman, he was a great role model. He was a very hard worker. So Jared saw him and he wanted to uh, go as hard or harder. He was the hardest working player on the team, so Jared wanted to be match him or go harder so that he could be the hardest working player on the team. So he was like, I'm just gonna do this. And he wanted to be there, like I said, first in the morning, um, 5.30 sometimes, 6 a.m. He'd get a workout with Shannon, and then they'd start at 7.30. He was always the first one at school. Hence the cut more. You'll see what it does. Okay, okay. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> Time to get waves now. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. No problem, bro. Yeah. That's why we make a stable like this with the fireplace with the light fixture. But that's not anymore. Yeah, this is amazing. If I didn't walk through the front door, I would think I was in a different place. When we finally negotiated for the house, I would. Nah. It's actually a great reminder. <laughs> What's in that robe? <laughs> yeah, this is mine. You know what I'm saying? Look at the the king curls. Hold on, I mean, know it. Where's it at? Polo. Is it custom? No, this brand just sent it to me. Like this hair brand. They're actually called King Curls, but it made just made sense for me. But so it's not real polo. <laughs> actually. It might be a real polo robe with just like their branding on the back, but oh. this is this is when I need to lock in and do my homework. This is this is my fit. So you really like wash like every single day? No, for real. Like I'm trying not to use a lot of detergent, but it's hard because I'm sweating and stuff. So I gotta. Water bill must be OD. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Wait, let me see one. See, I only have one left now. I ate all. Of, I ate all of them. I told you I don't get these options when I get them. It's wraps. They they're gone. Different. They're gone really fast. Sarah, so are you ahead again or? Or you're trying to get ahead? I'm trying to. This is rough. Because I fell asleep in the car, so I didn't get any homework done today. So I had to do it. I have to do it all right now, but I should be in bed right now. But it might be a long night for me. Man, what time are you going to wake up tomorrow? I'll wake up at 5. Yeah. All days. Yeah. Got to maintain the 4.0. So, uh, so these are like, it's like real teachers, right? They yeah. Know. So like, these are all like, like, uh, these are all my teachers, Ramsey, these Meyer Tucker. And then like here is like my email. I have it on my phone too. 
email any of my teachers if I need help, but it's kind of hard for them because they don't have, I guess they didn't expect a lot of people to be online, so sometimes they don't get back to your email. Oh, they teach in person as well? Yeah, I, or I think they just have a lot of people online too, oh. but like to un- to unlock a test, they have to look at your notes, but you have to submit the notes. That's why like... Like my history, there's so many notes for history. This was just one unit, and I had to submit all these, and then they have to look over them. It's a lot of paper. Yeah, no, for real. And this is two pages. I, I at first I was using one page. Online school looking expensive. Dude. <laughs> but I mean, I think it's worth it. Yeah. But sometimes it is. It does get rough. Or we'll. Get back at it tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll be I'll be up here. I'll see you tomorrow. Of course, we always felt like he could go to college and play, but it's like at what level, or you know, how much attention is he going to get? But when I when he started shooting the way that he shot his freshman year, and he he got like nine threes in one game. And, eight threes in another game like we knew okay he he definitely has a good shot <laughs> that was the first level where we thought okay this is going bigger than we could have even um, imagined and, and you know when you're um, when you have kids or play sports everybody reaches for the stars um, but we always were very grounded as far as like okay yes you have goals you you shoot for everything but reality is we want to get our school paid for that's the goal we have a long ways to go he has a long ways to go but the platform is getting smaller for all these players and it seems like Jared is included in one of the top players right now and I feel like he has a great chance to play have a you know great do wonderful in college and who knows what the next step may may be for him it would be amazing if he can go on and to the next level, but just taking it slow and continue to work. That's the best thing, continue to work. What's up, Brazilian City Cops? I don't want to eat meat for the next two weeks, bro. Whoa! Oh, these aren't even that beat. It's just leather. Leather it's gets like that. Beat. They're not beat, man. Where's your big brother at? Little Ramsey? Or is he Big Santana? He's big bro, look. Or is he big so, Is he Big Santana then? Yeah, he's Big Santana. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Who's guarding uh, MJ Wright? Who's guarding Aino Moda? <laughs> that's him right that's, here. That's, that's that. That's you don't have to guard your. You, it's men, though, just because of the protection. But Whoa. Trey White, Trey White starts frying, then I gotta guard Trey. What did he say? What did he say when he left? What did he say? He texted me on Snapchat. He texted me on Snapchat saying that he'll fry us. And then started with Donnie. Because in Hoop Nation, when he played with us, Donnie was a starting point guard, and he wasn't. Ooh. There's beef already. No, he actually has beef with you because you dropped him. First practice. Wasn't that like first practice with us? No, I was, it was the one I wasn't doing. Wait, wait, Jerry so made him a nene. Yeah, he dropped. Made him a nene. Yeah. I wasn't even there to see him. I don't know. Donnie, what did he do? What did you do to make Jerry oh, the nene? <laughs> I went like, it was like a fast break, and I went like this. Yeah, I went like that, and he fell. And hit, hit the nene? I wasn't <laughs> there at all. He fell on his back. Like that. Literally on his back. Oh, Pope, my star. Dink Pate. No, Pope won't. Ben. Oh, my God, six foot. They're actually not. Oh, never mind. Seven one. I was gonna say they're not that tall, and then I went past Alex. Whatever. Seven one. Six seven six eight six eight six five six six seven one six eight six ten. You got what? How tall is Adam? Six ten. And then they have more. Six ten four fifty. They, they have more sec at seven one. <laughs> That's interesting because I didn't know that he was going to make the varsity team. Like in the summer, I was so nervous about it. He played really well in eighth grade and, and he did do a good showing in eighth grade. So I felt like it was warranted. But you never know when you're coming into a new school, you don't know anyone. For him just to get the chance to play on the varsity, 
We thought that was great. And actually, my husband always joke about, great, if he can get like, you know, a few minutes here and there in each quarter or something, that would be great. And then uh, just so happened three players that were on the team that were starters left and he had a chance to work for that spot. Um, once he did get on, you know, he did make varsity. That was amazing first. It's weird because I felt like over COVID, him and Jace, he was like, I'm gonna work out every day. And he was running around the neighborhood and then they'd go to the park and they'd play basketball. And once, once Jared put those goals on his uh, wall, that's when he really decided um, he was going to meet those goals. I, I think that he wrote them and he's been able to check off quite a few. I don't even know how many, but he's still got more up there to complete. But that's what keeps him going, too. He's so um, driven by, you know, what he sets as his goals. Bring up Monday, bro. I want my shorts back. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, ready? No, we got scoop back. They say we got scoop back. Like, like, we. Tag, bro. What do you mean? You act like you don't have the rest of the time. You're just you just don't want to go to the game. No, I got to do homework. <laughs> no, 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 no. By homework, you mean your schoolwork, mm. right? Do mm. you do it in the car right now? You are in oh, but I have to do tomorrow's work because I have my oh. visit tomorrow. I'm doing my schoolwork on the visit. It was way too hard for me at Louisville, so I had to, like, I had to do it before. Uh, Lou, uh, where? Louisville. Oh, it's, Louisville. it's Louisville. It's not Louisville. It's Louisville. What's your fit looking like? I'm wearing your shorts. Bro, give me them back. Oh, but they're mine now. I did not give those to you. Got the S from my girlfriend Sydney. Got to LGBTQ. That's, that's how we rocking. We rocking. We rocking with everyone right now. We had def definitely several talks about him having a girlfriend. And one of the things, you know, Lance had all, my husband has always said, like, you can't have a girlfriend until you're 16. So it wasn't even a thought. And so finally, you know, he's 16 and um, he is in high school and, you know, is interested in a girl. But he came to me and he's like, I can't do, I, I just can't have a girlfriend, mom, because I need to stay focused. And it was so important to him to stay focused and not have a girlfriend, which I was absolutely, my husband and I both were shocked. We were just like, who is this kid, you know? <laughs> but very, very proud that he, you know, he's got his priorities in order, basically. Squared up into Jared. Jordy, you're set to pick. If I'm square, remember you're hitting, rolling. How to keep me get, get back the way you came. So if I'm pushing you here about the elbow, yep, you whip back. Okay. Hey. Hey. Of course, we hadn't heard from anyone really. Um, not too much, you know not too much going on and then all of a sudden June 15th was the first day that the college coaches could actually contact us and now it's after EYBL and um, you know the section 7 EYBL and then the top 100 camp he really started getting more and more and now it's the funniest thing because you want something so bad and then it finally comes and then it's like holy crap you know they call all the time and and he's really good about uh, making sure to call everybody back, but it's it's like a full-time job, 
even though no complaints it's what we wanted it's just it's quite overwhelming That's all I need really? Stand. I just need a different thing to hold the mic. It should be good. Now this is vlog number two. Vlog number two. Houston official visit. When you get you ready? Huh? When's it gonna be ready? Um, I don't know. Probably I'd say next week because Calvin's editing so. <laughs> Let me know. Alright coach. You too. Does it kind of stress you out sometimes? with all the uh, recruiting that's going on for you right now? I mean, it, a little bit, like, getting, like, a bunch of calls and stuff, but, I mean, it's what I wanted. Like, I, yeah. it can't be, like, some, like, because some people would dream to be in my position, so I can't, like, take take it for granted. But, yeah. but sometimes just trying to do homework or something, and they call, and you feel like you have to answer. But, I mean, this is what I dreamed of, so I'm just going with the process. Still enjoying it. Another day with the laundry. Another day, another, another load. Quick wash. Need that down quick. Only 250 in the world, and like I did research for these. You understand? I was, I think it was my homeschool seventh grade year, so I was like, what, 13 or something? I did so much research to get this shoe. I had to beg my mom to pay for it because I think they were 250 retail. But there's only 250 in the world, so these are crazy. The Kyrie Moms with the rose, favorite shoe ever. My pride and joy. How do you get that? These, see, this was like, well, these came out. I think also in my seventh grade year. Sean Witherspoon. If you know Round Two, the store, I they have episodes. Like, they, do you know Round Two, the store? Do you Gosh. know their episodes? Course. I literally religious. I've watched all their episodes like four times each. I love react Sean. To that. I literally love Sean so much, bro. And when he came out with this, I'd voted voted hella times for him to come out with this. Um, then they came out. Of course, I didn't get them because they were so limited. But I bought them for five hundred because at that time they were going for only five hundred, and now they're like eleven hundred. But this shoe, bro. Then they doubled. They doubled, yeah. Dang. But. This shoe means so much to me. Like, I literally love this shoe so much. I wish I could wear this more, but like, you're just too. They're too like, they're too out there to wear them every day. I'm not about to just pull up to a workout with these on. There's, there's no point in doing that. What um, about the the nice dunks, the common ones? These ones? Pandas. These I got. These I got actually before they came out. They're so beat. Jeez. Wait, what? Yeah, I got these because they came out in Europe first. And I got these, like, a month before some they released. I got How do you know I just got real? My, I got my stock X. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were just on there because it said Euro exclusive, and then they ended up coming out again for the Panda for the U.S. release. Shorts more than anything in my closet. Shorts are my pride and joy. Shorts, oh my god. Any brands? Hit me up. I love shorts. Wait, which one are those from? I see those a lot. Though. Which one? The these flag ones. These are from, I think it says it on here. Yeah. Rai. How much Rai, are those? Rail Rain. I have no idea they sent them to me. Sure. Oh, that's tough. This I got from you. Wait, let me get this name right. Because they actually show so much love. They sent the, the Shea shirt. They sent a Devin Booker shirt. I think it's isn't it Shy or it's Shay? I have no I actually literally I've heard both. It's called Ezra? Ezra Pharaoh. How much do they usually go for? I, these are cheap, I'm pretty sure. It's like 25, 30. I mean if you count that cheap. It's not too bad. Yeah. Isn't that Paxson? No, nah, I got this. This is from this brand. Asmok Kids Racing. I don't even know. I just so saw free? it. Free? Uh, this one I think I paid for, but I think they ended up sending me something because I asked them before. How can people get like stuff sent for free? 
Dude, just DM them. I mean, like, I'm very lucky I got the blue check because it pops oh. up way quicker now for them. But, like. What do you say? I, <laughs> Cindy, Cindy laughs at this for me. But I literally just put, I put, yo, or like, what's up? Or like, something like that. Just so they can get the yeah. conversation. And then it just, I'll be like, is there any way I can get some gear uh, from you guys or something like that? These are tough. Yeah, these just got sent to me. Wow. I like this color, the brown. It's nice material. Showing love does Well, which brand is this? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Dude, I have no idea. That's tough. I think it's like Broken Planet or Broken Plant. Company is these two. How do you like choose like how you're gonna wear stuff? Like where do you get your style from? Um, I mean I think like the biggest style right now is just short shorts and a graphic tee. I think I just Mister Put It On. <laughs> that's why that's why I don't call myself Mister Put It On. I think I call myself Mister Put It On when I put like like I actually got these pants. Where do you get your style though? Like um, just looking at Instagram. My Instagram Explorer page, I guess. Oh no, this dude who's actually I DM'd him. He sent me his. Oh, I gotta show you these. These are actually fire. I just washed them. Maybe they're in a dryer. The one you're talking about. Oh, like, this yeah. was that real material. Yeah. This is. These are the happy memories. Don't die. Yeah, happy memories don't die. But I think they just. Those aren't died. even that short, right? These ones. Yeah. These are really short. Oh. Actually, because yeah, they go up to like. They're pretty high. They go up to like here. These one, Lulu shorts. All time favorite. Okay, yeah, this is the dude. Those the, aren't that short, right? Yeah, these aren't that. I rolled That's these. the same brand as the Mets? No, nah, no, nah, this is that one dude's brand who I, I get my style from. Not that I get my style from him, but like, he, where's my phone go? Hold on, he's got the shirt I have. Wait, that's his brand too, or no? Nah, that was, that's someone else's brand, but my all time, like I just like this look, like the, with the cardigan with some jeans or like what do you call that is that like hesh or dude no? i have no idea i'm trying to pull off something with these i don't know what i'm about to still on i don't know yeah exactly you were with me when i bought these actually yeah. huh i don't know how i'm gonna pull these off but we're gonna do something i gotta wear a nice i gotta wear a nice fit to the houston dinner so i think we're gonna go with You used to wear a collar shirt or it just has to look nice? I think it just has to look nice. Where'd you get those from? Target. If you, no. if you need cargo pants, go to Target. How yeah, you can just put it with like any of those. Actually, I might just put on a fit just, just to see what I'm going to wear. I'm trying. There's a difference between like when I'm, when I'm trying hard and I'm trying not to be... Like I'm not trying hard, but I'm still trying to look... Stylish, kind of. Yeah. That's the hardest. That's when I'll just throw on like a nice, like, graphic tee and some nice shorts with like some Crocs. Mm. Cause like it's like, oh, he's not trying hard, but it still looks good. You know what I mean? True, true. So like here. So I wouldn't go this with this. I think I might just go black and go with. Let me see. the top 100 camp I had no clothes and I had to literally my mom had to uber to Walmart to give me underwear socks a toothbrush deodorant and oh, the socks I think you told me about that like how you just got the call yeah no literally I got after peace jam I got the call to go to the camp and like I was on I was boarding my way boarding my flight back to back to here corona and I got the call from John Lucas and he was like you just got the invite, and I was like, well, after you, playing 14 days. But see, what, you just got off the plane? Yeah, no, I got I got off the plane in Houston, oh, and then oh. and then I was boarding my flight to Corona. Like you were like on the plane? I was about we were about to board. Like A's like uh, A's were boarding. I was in an A group, and I got the call. Is this all they're gonna pack, or you're still? I'm still debating. I don't know how much I really need to pack. 
can't decide. Well, how long are the visits usually? Three days. For officials, three days. Well, like, two days, and then the third day is, like, meet with the coach or, like, and then leave that same day. Do they have someone, like, what if you get hungry at night and you eat all your snacks? They, they feed. I mean, well, that hasn't happened to me, but on my one official, I was, I was fed really well. Wow. Yeah, it was. To them. The Walmart These are the Walmart joints. Nice. Just great quality. Yeah, this is the only thing I hate about doing laundry. I hate finding socks. Those. These ones are the $80 ones. These are expensive. Sheesh. These ones are expensive, but I love these ones. So. I can't tell if this goes. Nick, what do you think? Is that go? You know what they call me. How long do you think you're going to keep doing this vlog thing, though? I don't know. I mean, like, I'm going to try to do it. Especially in, to, in college. I feel like that'd be cool. I think it's like a personal little documentary for myself. I'm gonna see challenges with my girlfriend, you know, praying to God we stay together. <laughs> We're gonna see, I mean, mukbangs, of course, I love eating, so gotta do that. Vlogs, day in the lives, really anything y'all want. Like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, wait, what happened? Why did it flip? Starting this vlogging stuff, I think people might say like it might distract you. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could say that, but I mean, I'm just doing this for fun. Like, I don't even really care about the money. That's not the main goal here. I mean, main goal is obviously the NBA, but I just feel like it's cool to document this stuff. Especially since I was like, when I was like in like seventh grade, I was searching up day in the life of Jalen Green or some Josh Christopher. I wanted to see all those people's day in lives. And like, it'd be cool to see it from my perspective. I feel like, I mean, Nick has his own. I could have my own. So I feel like it's cool to see. But, so you feel like they didn't show you enough? Yeah, I feel like it wasn't, I mean, like you'd see like the slam videos or something like that, but I don't know, it wasn't enough to me. I just wanted wanted more. So I felt like this could be that extra stuff people want or something. Not that you're like a big celebrity, but do you kind of feel for now for celebrities that get no, a lot of hate? No, literally, like I, I had this conversation with my mom. I was like, I get why, like he says, like on a Snapchat, he was like, no friends or whatever, like, circle small or whatever because like you can see how people just will turn or like they don't you don't trust anyone because someone will say this behind your back or something you heard but it, you really start to understand why they say that stuff and not that like I'm a celebrity or anything but just like the little bit that I have you can tell that stuff like that happens a lot more it's like there's like two things involved in it because you got it you obviously care what people say about yourself but you can't care what they say so